Here is a small demonstration of what you will learn in this video tutorial. First of all, you will learn how to install Gazebo in ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco from scratch. Then you will learn how to load this amazing simulation that represents a robot in a warehouse. You can see a robot over here with a lighter and you can see a big and realistic warehouse over here. Now, over here you can actually move the robot by pressing the keyboard keys. You can move the robot left, rotate it actually right, you can move it forward, backward, you can navigate the environment and move the robot inside of this environment. For example, if I want to go here, I will simply do this and then you can follow how your robot is moving in the environment. Truly amazing. Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel. In this ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco tutorial, we explain how to properly install Gazebo in ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco. So let's immediately start. First of all, I have to mention the following. ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco is the newest release of ROS2. It's released in May 2024. Consequently, sooner or later, you will have to migrate all of your projects from ROS2 Humble to ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco. And the end of life date or EOL of ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco is 2029. Consequently, that's five years from now. But before I start with explanations, here is some background information about Gazebo for those of you who are new to robotics and those of you who are new to creating digital twins of real-life robotic systems. In my humble opinion, Gazebo is the most powerful software and a set of tools for simulating real-life robotic systems and for building digital twins of different types of robots. However, Gazebo is actually more than that. Gazebo incorporates a set of tools that simulate the rigid body dynamics of objects. Consequently, Gazebo can be used to simulate not only robotic systems, but also physically realistic motion of real-life 3D objects and systems. It can, for example, predict collisions of objects and it can completely incorporate gravity effects. In addition to this, Gazebo can be used to train and verify the performance of machine learning algorithms such as the reinforcement learning algorithms. Finally, Gazebo can easily be integrated with ROS2 and can be used to visualize the motion and behavior of robotic systems controlled by ROS2. For example, Gazebo can be used to simulate simultaneous localization and mapping, obstacle avoidance, and other interesting robotic algorithms. Okay, so let's immediately start. The first step is to verify that you have the proper version of ROS2 on your system. Namely, in this tutorial, you need to have ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco. So let's see, do you actually have this version of ROS2? Click here, then over here, type terminal and click on terminal. Then in this terminal window, first of all, do this. CD, go to this folder and over here, Type this LSLA and if you have ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco installed, you should see Jazzy. However, this is not the complete verification. Let's try to actually run the setup.bash file of this Jazzy installation and see if it can be run. And if it can be run, then Jazzy is completely installed on your system. To do that, let's try to source this file. Source in this folder, opt. ROS, then in Jazzy, and you need to try to source or execute this file. And if you can do that, you don't see the error, good. And as, as the final check, you need to do this, print this environment variable, ROS distro. And let's see, and if you see Jazzy, good. This means that Jazzy Jalisco is, is installed on your system and you can continue watching this video tutorial. If not, I created a separate video tutorial on how to install Jazzy Jalisco from scratch. The next step is to verify that you have the proper version of Linux Ubuntu. Consequently, let's verify your version. To do that, you need to type L S B and then release and then dash a and over here you should see ubuntu 24.04 if you see some other version of ubuntu this means that you don't have the proper version of ubuntu and you need to install this exact version okay under the assumption that you have this specific version of ubuntu we can continue 
The next step is to install Gazebo. However, you cannot install any version of Gazebo. Namely, go to this website over here. Then, over here, find this compatibility table. And let's see our ROS version. Here it is, ROS2 Jazzy. And you can see that you cannot install GS Citadel, GS Fortress, GS Garden. However, you can install GS Harmonic. That is, Gazebo Harmonic can be paired with ROS2 Jazzy. And that's the only version that's being actually tested. You can also try GS Garden, however there might be some issues over here. Consequently, you need to install GS Harmonic or Gazebo Harmonic. The next step is to install Gazebo. To install Gazebo, first of all, you need to go to this website, then scroll down and click here on Get Started. Or you can automatically go to this page by just searching Gazebo Get Started. Okay, next, you need to make sure that your release over here is harmonic. If it's not, click here and choose harmonic. Then click here on install and over here you have several options. You have the binary installation on Ubuntu and you also have source installation on Ubuntu. So what's the difference? Binary installation, loosely speaking, contains already pre-compiled files and folders and you more or less will download them and install them. On the other hand, if you choose the source installation, you will have to compile everything on your system and that this might be challenging for new users. So let's click on binary installation and over here we need to follow these steps. So let's do that. Over here, I'm going to simply change the size of this window such that you can see what I'm typing in my terminal and you can follow all the steps as I do. Okay, so open a terminal then I'm going to resize this terminal such that you can see what's happening over here and here we can continue. Okay, so let's see from the beginning. First, install the necessary tools. This is usually the first step when you want to install anything in Linux. You need to update, then enter your password. And this will take some time. Then you need to run this. Let's execute this. Okay, so let me just minimize this so you can better see what's happening here. Next step is actually to install Gazebo Harmonic. To do that we first of all need first of all need to do the sudo curl command and this is a very important command. Okay next you need to echo this to specific file Then you need to run update. This is always important before you install anything on Linux. And over here you need to run this command. sudo apt get install gazebo harmonic. And here it is. And here you can see how much space you need. Click on yes and that's it. Now you have to be patient over here since this will take some time. Okay, so the process is completed and hopefully we were able to properly install Gazebo. However, let's verify the installation. So completely close this terminal, open a new terminal and start from scratch. And let's do a few tests. Over here in this terminal, run this. This will start Gazebo simulation and it will execute this file called shapes.sdf. So run this and let's hope that everything is fine. Good. If you see something like this, this is good. Okay, so what is this? This is actually a real life simulation of one, two, three, four, five, six objects. So let's try to simulate these objects. Here you can click on different entities. So for example, if I click on box, it's a box. 
if I click on the ellipsoid, here is the ellipsoid. Now, if you run this, the simulation will run. And let's see what will happen. Now, it will take some time for a simulation to start. And here it is. You see what happened? This object actually fall down. So let's now run it again. Of course, this simulation is already completed. However, you can do this and you can reset the simulation and again run this and now observe what happens now you're in real time simulation and due to the instability and probably some initial perturbation this cylinder will fall down good next let's close the simulation yes and let's go back to the terminal and let's now run gazebo with this option dash v4 this will actually start gazebo and this file in the debug mode so we can see what's happening behind the scene and you can see all the things right you can see warnings you might see some possible errors etc and it's very useful to understand what's happening over here however we are going to cover these things in our future video tutorials however let's go back to gazebo and let's run the simulation again and let's see what is happening okay there's still some warning and something is happening however you can see that the simulation is running and there are no significant errors in this simulation good we can start gazebo without actually starting a particular simulation that is we can directly start gazebo graphics user interface to do that type g z and type sim and let's see what happens voila here it is over here you can select some of the tutorials so let's select this very interesting tutorials and let's run it you will see it's super nice now wait here since this will take some time this is a real robotic simulation and wait and after some time you will see this simulation environment now I'm going to expand this window and before I explain how to move this robot let me explain how to pan, how to rotate and how to zoom the view. To pan the view simply press the left mouse button and move the mouse left and right. Then to rotate the view simply press the middle mouse button and move the mouse left or right and you can rotate the view. Then to zoom, you simply need to roll forward and backward your middle mouse button. Next, let's learn how to move this robot. To move this robot, first of all, you need to start the simulation. And once I start the simulation, you will see what happens over here. So click over here. Now the simulation is started. As you can see over here, we actually have a lighter that's constantly rotating and scanning the environment. That is, this model also has an incorporated lighter which is super important now to move the robot move this slider all the way down and over here you can see teleoperation that is you can use the keyboard keys to move the robot over here you can press and move the robot however I don't like that I will click on keyboard over here and you can see how to move the robot to move the robot forward you need to press W on your keyboard to move the robot left, A, S, back, D, right, Q, up, and E, down. So let's move forward. I'm pressing now W. I'm moving forward. Let's move back. You see what happens? The robot is moving. Amazing. Now let's rotate the robot, pressing A or pressing D. And now you can simply move the robot as you wish. Simple as this. This is awesome. This is actually a real life simulation of your robot. And you can get a lot of things. You can get a point cloud. You can see all the topics. You can see actually everything. Now, to show you how you can see the topics, simply go back to the terminal, expand this window, and type GZ topic and list L. And you can see, wait here for a second, and you will see all the, all the topics that are currently being executed and that are running you can see joint state you can see scan back you can see demo state stats etc truly amazing 